If you own a Samsung Galaxy S10, S20, Note 10, Note 20 or the new A or M series Android phone but you haven't yet received Android 11 or One UI 3.0 OTA update then you can follow this guide to manually update your supported Samsung device to One UI 3.0 based on Android 11. To know if your phone is supported or not, I have put a list of supported Samsung devices that you can update to Android 11 in the description. So do check out. This is a really simple guide and if you follow it correctly, you will be able to update your Samsung device to the latest One UI Android 11 update without any issues. So let's begin. Now first, you need to download a few files and programs. So start by downloading and installing the Samsung Smart Switch app on your Windows PC. We will use this Smart Switch app to backup our Samsung Android phone data and restore it later after upgrading Samsung device to Android 11 One UI 3. This app helps backup and restore only Samsung devices in just a few clicks. It backups all the data including your SD card so do backup before you proceed any further. This is the most important step that you should follow. Next, download the Odin app. The link is in the description. Now you need to download the latest version in order to avoid any issue. Now finally, you need to download the latest firmware update for your Samsung device. To download the latest firmware, you need to visit sammobile.com, register and then sign in after verifying your email. After signing in, click on firmware button and then click on download latest firmware. Now search your device model and select it. Be sure to match the model number of your device which you can see in about phone under settings of your Samsung device. It's visible under the software information. This is really important. You need to make sure that you choose the right model number otherwise you may end up breaking your device. Next you need to select or click on your country to see all the available firmware updates. Click on the latest firmware update from the list. This will open a new page where you need to click on wait and download button. This will open a pop up. You need to wait for 30 seconds and after that you will see a download button. You have to click on that and this will start downloading the firmware on your system. Now the download will be really slow because it's the free server that Sam Mobile host for free users. It doesn't matter how fast your connection is, the download will be slow on Sam Mobile server. To download quickly, you have a better alternative, which is samfw.com. FW stands for firmware and this site, unlike sammobile.com, allows you to download firmwares at a really fast speed. Now here also you need to search your device model, then choose your country and then click on the latest firmware available for your device. Again, be sure to match the model number of your device that you can see in about phone under settings and software information on your Samsung devices. Again, if you download a firmware for different model and flash it on your device, it may break your device and in that case, I or my channel cannot be held responsible. If firmware is not available for your device for your particular model, do not try to flash any other firmware. You have been warned. Now let's move forward. Now next what you need to do is click on download from website button to start downloading at full speed. This will take a few minutes only if you have decent connection speed. After downloading the firmware, you have to extract it because it's a compressed file anywhere that you want where enough space is available. It requires around 7 GB. So make sure 7 GB space is available wherever you are extracting this firmware. After extracting all the files, you need to reboot your device to download mode. Now every Samsung device has slightly different key combination to reboot into download or recovery mode, but sometimes it doesn't work. So I'll tell you a universal way to reboot any supported device or any Android device to recovery or download mode. For this, you need to install ADB drivers on your PC. It's really easy. Just download the ADB XE file, open it, and then enter the options to install ADB and fastboot drivers. Once done, 
in your Samsung device, you need to open settings and go to about phone. Click on software information and then tap seven times on build number. This will unlock the developers option. Now go back to settings, scroll down and tap on developer options. Scroll down a bit and find USB debugging option. You have to enable it. Once enabled, you have to go back to your PC and make sure your device is connected to your PC via USB cable. Now open the command prompt window, type ADB to check if ADB drivers are working perfectly. If they are working, you will see a list of ADB commands in the output. And if they are not installed properly, you will see ADB is not recognized. If you see that, you need to reinstall the ADB drivers. Next, what you need to do is, if ADB drivers are working, type ADB space reboot space download and hit enter. Now this will reboot your device, your Samsung device to download mode immediately. Once your device is in download mode, you have to open Odin and you will see that your device is recognized and will be shown as COM3, COM4 or COM with some number under ID COM port. So this will let you know that if your device is recognized and connected. Now what you need to do next is click on BL button and navigate to the folder where you extracted the firmware files and choose the file which starts with letter BL. Similarly, you have to click on AP button and choose the file that starts with AP. Now this AP file is very large, so wait until Odin processes it. It can take more than a minute, so be patient about it. Once AP file is added, you have to click on CP and choose the file that starts with letter CP. Finally, you have to click on CSC, but here you have two different options. You may choose the file that starts with CSC or the one that starts with home CSC. Both are same, uh, there's minor difference and the difference is that if you choose home CSC file, it will not delete any data from your device such as your photos, videos, music or anything which is stored including your contacts, emails, anything. It won't be deleted after flashing the firmware and updating to Android 11 One UI 3. But if you select the file that starts with CSC, it will flash the firmware from scratch and it will delete everything from your device. So basically, if you choose home CSC, it will be a dirty installation. And if you choose the CSC, it will be a clean installation. You may prefer any, it's up to you. But one thing you need to note is that home CSC will only work on devices, on Samsung devices that are one or two level down uh, then the latest firmware update which is which you are flashing right now in case you haven't received a OTA update for like a few months then this might not work and in that case you need to select the CSC file instead of home CSC I think I'm clear about it if you need any help regarding this or want to know anything further about these files uh, do let me know via comments down below once all files are selected, you need to click on start. Now this will start flashing the Android 11 One UI 3 update on your Samsung device. Now again, if the process stops, what you need to do is make sure that you are using the latest version of Odin. And in case if you have selected the home CSC, close Odin, restart it, and this time choose the CSC file, not the home CSC file, and then click start. This should ideally flash the firmware on your Samsung device without any issue. So once the device is flashed successfully, it will reboot a few times during the update. This is a long process because it's not a simple update. It's actually upgrade. So be patient and wait for the device to finish applying updates and boot completely. In order to avoid any issue, make sure your device is at least 50% charged before flashing any firmware. It's not necessary, but very much recommended. Now at this stage, your device should be updated to latest firmware, which is Android 11, One UI 3. Now is the time to restore your data in case your data has been deleted. All you need to do is open the smart switch app and click on restore.
this will restore all the data back on your android device and you will be able to use your android device normally like you were using it before applying these updates now if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and also subscribe for more videos and updates on samsung devices such as how to install updates or the gcam on samsung exynos devices or how to save batteries so there are several tips and tricks that i'll be sharing like the last year but in case if you are facing any issue or problem don't hesitate do reach out to me via comments down below i'll be happy to respond to you and i'll be happy to help you with that said I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching guys. I will be back with another video soon. Good day.